Welcome back guys. Today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about flashes and the flashes you can use for your camera, specifically Canon flashes. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you a picture without a flash and with the flash. So take a look at these. First one is without a flash, you can see the shadows in the eyes. The second one is a flash in the same spot. See how the flash fills the dark sockets in the eyes. That's very important because the eyes are about the most important part of the picture you can get. So a flash is very important whether you're inside or outside. I know people will disagree with me on that, but it's hard to disagree with that picture. It shows you the dark circles in the eyes. So let's get started on what flashes you can use because they really vary in price a lot. So of course, Canon makes the flash, but it's name brand. So it's just like having a brand new Mazda. If you go back to your Mazda dealership, it's gonna be more expensive than everybody else. So you can get the Canon, I believe it's a 600 flash, EX I believe it is, for about $1,100, which is a good bit of money. It's a good flash but it's quite a lot for a flash when there are other options out there that I like a lot better. I won't necessarily say I like them a lot better, but once you're into the ecosystem of these other flashes, you can find a lot of uses from them. The Canon flashes are great. I've got some Canon flashes that are almost 20 years old and they're still going. So they're great flashes. I'm not hanging on Canon flashes. I'm just again talking about bang for your buck and what you can get. So if you decide not to go with Canon, you can also go with a Pro Photo. Very nice flash. Um, I love the menu system on it, but again, it's $1,095 for this Pro Photo flash, which to me is just ludicrous to pay that for a flash. Now, again, it's a great flash. It's going to last a long time. The quality output of the flash is good, but that price is just too steep compared to other options that we have. Now, there's another brand that you can get. It's called Newer. It's a lower end flash, but the newer Z2 flash that they make is an excellent flash. I got a picture of it up right now. The system, the menu system is fantastic. It's easy to work with. It puts out great light. I did a video on it in the past and I absolutely loved it. And you can get it for $189. That's a big difference from $1,100 down to $189 for a newer Z2 flash. It's a great flash, but the problem with the newer flash has nothing to do with the flash itself. The problem is the ecosystem that newer has. It's not anything compared to the flash that I'm gonna recommend. Now, if you're brand new and you want a really good flash and you're only gonna use this one flash, and you're not planning on getting any off-camera flashes or any triggers or anything like that, the newer might be for you because it is, it is a great flash and it puts out beautiful light and for $189, you can't beat it. And the menu is easy to use. I like everything about the flash except for the ecosystem that newer has. Now the flash that I'm gonna recommend is you've heard me talk about them a lot, is Godox. They make a V1, it's called the Godox V1. It's got a round head on it that comes with a lot of adapters, barn doors, a lot of things you can get on it. And that flash is gonna run you 259. Now Godox did just put out a Godox V1 Pro and it I believe is 329. And it's if you bounce your flash, it's got a little adapter in the front that still points some flash right at you. And that's all well and good, but I don't use it uh, just because I have so many V1s, I don't really see the need to buy a Godox V1 Pro. I'm, I'm not pro or anti the flash, it is what it is. If that's your style, go for it. You won't regret it. If it's not your style, I don't think you'll miss it. So, it's, you know, it's one of those things. But the thing about Godox, my Godox V1, not only can it go on top of the camera, which I don't really recommend putting flash on top of the camera, but if you have to, it works fine on top of the camera. It will work as a transmitter by itself. You can control other Godox flashes with it. it doesn't even have to be other Godox V1s. It can be any of it, you can use your AD200. Any, pretty much any Godox flash is gonna work with anything Godox, like my Godox X3 trigger. All the triggers actually, down to the X2s, um, the T-Pros, I forget all the names of all of them, but all those triggers will work with this Godox V1. Hey guys, I just want to take this second of your time. If you guys would please hit like and subscribe, it would go a long ways toward helping our channel and help us keep making these videos. Thank you. So their ecosystem is phenomenal. You have almost endless options that you can use. Like I said, that Godox V1 can be used as a transmitter. It can be used as a slave. It can be used any way you want to use it. I mean, you can put up multiple Godox V1s where you can even use them as studio lights. If you have an umbrella, 
you can take your Godox V1, put an X3 trigger on top or any of the Godox triggers, fire it into the umbrella, and you've got a small studio light. So the options and the price range for the Godox and the way they're made, they, they for a while, I think they had some plastic mounts on the bottom. I didn't really like that, but now they're metal and they're working great. Um, I haven't had any break on me. And for the price and for the ecosystem, I highly recommend the Godox V1 flash. Now they do make other Godox flashes that, are, that aren't quite 259. You can get them for 150 or so. But I think it's worth the extra money. I like the round head on the Godox V1. You're getting a lot more flash with the Godox V1 than you will some of the lower Godox flashes, even though they'll all still work with the Godox ecosystem. I just particularly myself, my opinion, just me, I like the Godox V1. It's my favorite. And the price, I can buy, what, four of those for what I can buy one Canon or one Pro Photo. So, and you guys know I like bang for my buck. Check out the Godox flashes. I'll leave some links down at the bottom if you guys want to check these out. Flashes are very important because you need to get the dark sockets out of the eyes. If you're inside, you can bounce it off a ceiling. You need extra light. That way you don't, you can keep your ISO down. You don't have to get grain. And when you're outside, you got to keep the shadows out of the eyes. A lot of people go outside and say, oh, it's sunny. It's perfect today. But it's not because if you look at the sockets in the eyes, your eyes are inset. You're going to have dark sockets in your eyes. The flash will take that out and make the eyes pop. And that's what we want. We want pictures that pop. So with that said, if you guys have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Just send me an email. Leave a comment down at the bottom. What flash do you use? What flash do you like? What's your opinion on what I had to say? Anyway, for helping you guys out, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.